This is a review of how to graph quadratic equations in the vertex form, which is a, for instance, x minus h squared plus k. Example today is y equals parentheses x plus 1, close parentheses, squared, minus 4. First thing we're going to do is to label the h and k. Look like this. Hint, h is always the opposite sign because of the negative sign in front of the h. We always want to switch that sign to whatever it happens to be. And the k, because it's a positive in front of it, always stays the same. So in this case, my h is negative 1 and my k is negative 4 because it's always the opposite sign of that one and the same sign of that one. The vertex is always of the form h comma k. So in this case, my vertex is negative 1, negative 4. As we've known from the other forms of graphing quadratic equations, the axis of symmetry always goes through the vertex because the vertex is in the center of the equation. So in, my case, in this case, my axis of symmetry is x equals h, which in this case is x equals negative 1. Once we find that, we have our vertex and our axis of symmetry, we need to find two more points so we can mirror them over. Unlike the other forms, we don't have any other points to go with. So in this case, we do actually have to find two complete points. Since my vertex is at negative 1, negative 4, my axis of symmetry is negative 1, I'm going to pick the two points on the right-hand side of the graph from that. So I'm going to use x is 0 and x is 1. So what I'm going to do is plug that value in. So y equals 0 plus 1 squared minus 4. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 squared minus 4. So 1 squared is 1 minus 4 equals negative 3. So my point in this case is 0, negative 3. So I'm going to do the same again. This time I'm going to plug in 1. So I have the 1. So 1, squ 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 squared. 2 squared is 4. 4 minus 4 is 0. So my second point is 1, 0. Now we're going to, and we have our information, we're going to graph this information. And then after we graph it, we're going to actually mirror the points over. First thing we're going to graph is my, my vertex, which is at negative 1, negative 4. I'm going to go over to negative 1 and down negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then I'm going to put my axis of symmetry right through that vertex. Next thing I'm going to pull graph is my first point, which in this case is 0, negative 3. So that's right there. Then I'm going to graph my second point, which in this case is 1, 0, which also happens to be my x-intercept. My first point actually happened to be my y-intercept. Then I'm going to mirror those points over. So I went 1 this way, so I'm going to go 1 this way. And since I went 2 this way, I'm going to go 2 this way. And now that we have all our information, we can graph our parabola. So the parabola goes down like this. And that is how to graph a parabola in the vertex form.